Hello everyone, Uprising AI is back with another mid journey tutorial and today we will be addressing something a lot of people have been having issues with for the longest time including myself and that is how to add text to your images on mid journey. This was something that was considered to be impossible before but now using the newly introduced feature on mid journey called vary region or in painting this is finally a possibility. So today we will be learning how we can achieve the same using the in painting feature on mid journey mind you this is not something which is very convenient rather it's a very tedious and long process i would much rather suggest that you just make an image take it to photoshop and do a little bit of this and that but for those people who do not know how to use these tools such as photoshop canva etc this is a good option but then again as i've always been saying anything and everything we do on mid journey needs to be taken with a pinch of salt so without further ado, let's see how we can add text to our mid journey images. So the first thing you need to do is tell mid journey where you want this text to be and what do you want this text to be. We all know that mid journey cannot yet generate text on images, but even then mid journey has an idea of the kind of text you want it to put on the certain image. So it ends up giving you at least an idea of where you can put this text. So in my case, I told mid journey that I wanted the text uprising AI written on a huge billboard on the Times Square. And as you can see, it has already generated four amazing images out of which I really like the second one. The placement of the word uprising, the suggested word uprising is perfect. So from here on out, we will now be seeing how we can use the in painting tool on mid journey to add further letters to this desired word that we want, which is uprising AI in this case. So now using the lasso tool, we will be making a selection towards the right side of the letter U where we want our next letter to be. And this is how I word my prompt. Let's just simply say the letter P. And this P can go inside double quotes, single quotes and whatever. So it says select a larger area. So let's just do as it says, make a larger selection. And I would suggest selecting an area above and below the letter I and R as you can see and we make that selection and let's just press send and wait for the results now. So now as you can see mid journey has done exactly what I told it to do. It has added the letter P right next to the letter U which are the first two letters of uprising AI. It has been able to do the first three images perfectly but the fourth one as you can see is wrong. Uh, now it's up to you which one you want to choose. So in my case, I think I will be going with the second option. I like the styling of the letter P as well as the space between the two letters. So let's just upscale the second image and then let's see what to do next. Now we will repeat the same process that we did in the first place. We will go to very region and select an area towards the right side of the second letter P. So let's just make sure that we have selected the area properly. I think I've missed a little bit. So I'll just make sure that I've selected it properly and now that we're done, the letter R and we press send and let's just see if it's able to do the same again. So as you can see, mid journey has been able to do the task at hand pretty well. It has given me three R's minus the first image, which is an I, the three R's are pretty good, especially the third one where the styling of the R as well as the spacing between P and R is perfect. So we will be now going with the third option, which is U3. And one piece of suggestion that I have for everyone is do this process while having relax mode on, because this has the ability to take away a lot of your fast hours, your precious fast hours. So I'm going to switch to relax mode because it can take a lot of tries. So far, we have been very lucky that on the first try itself with the letter P and the letter R, we got the desired results, but it can take two or three tries as well. And as you can see, uprising AI is a lot of letters. It's 10 letters and it can take a lot of time to do all these 10 letters one by one. So if you do have the time at hand, use relax mode. And if you do not have the time at hand and you want to make something very urgent, then you can choose the fast as well. So from here on out, it's an option for you guys. If you want to continue making these letters one by one using mid journey, or you just want to take it to a third party app, just like I did. You can do that because using a third party app like Photoshop and Canva is much more convenient, much easier than going through this whole hassle of putting one letter one after the other on mid journey. I would suggest doing this if you're trying to put a very small word onto your image because the more the letters you have, the more tedious it gets. 
And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial on how to use the in painting feature to add text to your images on Mid Journey. If there's anything else we can do for you, please let us know in the comments below and stay tuned.